Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Gann with Guiding Echoes, the channel that is devoted to your spiritual and personal growth. Now in this video, I am answering a viewer's question and that viewer wished to remain anonymous. And her question was, is it okay to pray to angels? I used to pray to mine all the time, but I stopped when I was told that praying to angels is wrong because they don't want the worship. That is a really good question. And in order to answer it, I feel like we need to dive into this topic of prayer versus worship a little bit more. So prayer is simply the act of talking to God. But it can also be the act of talking to a God, a goddess, angels, your spirit guides, and really any being that is on the other side that is willing to work with you and help you. Worship, on the other hand, is when you put someone or something on a pedal stool. As humans, we are very prone to worshiping something. Some people worship money, right? I'm sure you know people like that. They tend to be very materialistic. There are other people who worship their cars. You know, they get like this great car and they protect it as if it's their baby and they're always talking about their car and how much they love their car and they may actually talk to their car and tell it what a good car it is. <laughs> you know, so we always worship something because it's just how we're wired. It's just how we're created. We were created to worship something. And so, when it comes to prayer versus worship, it's very important to distinguish between the two of them. If you've ever been to church, you should know the difference, right? Prayer is when um, at a church, in a church sitting, you usually close your eyes and bow your head. And this is a sign of respect. And you can either listen to your pastor as he's praying and silently in your heart and mind agree with what is being said. Or you may even speak out loud and direct the prayer yourselves or pray in unity, pray in unity with the um, people around you, which is common um, when people do the Lord's Prayer together. So there are different ways of praying. You know, they, they differ a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same act. You close your eyes and bow your head, or you can keep your head lifted. doesn't really matter. You can actually pray with your eyes open too, but it's simply the act of communicating to those spiritual beings that we admire, to the spiritual beings that are looking out for us and that we want to build a relationship with, okay? So that's what prayer is. Worship, on the other hand, again, if you've been to church, you know this, worship is usually when people would sing songs, you know, when they would sing songs to these entities, to God or goddess or angels or whoever. And I've never had anyone write a song about me, have you? Yeah, I've never had anyone write a song about me, but if they did, that would definitely be a form of worship <laughs> because it's their way of saying, you are so important to me that I wrote this song about you. And so song can be one way that we worship someone or something. But really worship is when you pour a lot of positive words, positive affirmations and ideas, and I want to say even projections onto something or someone. So, for example, people do this with Jesus Christ. Now, I believe Jesus Christ was, in fact, an ascended master. Um, I don't believe that he is the one and only son of God. But a lot of people do believe that. And so what they do is they project their ideas of needing a savior onto him. Thus, he becomes a savior. So now that they have this idea that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior, they feel the need to worship him. They feel the need to tell him how wonderful he is, how they couldn't have a good life without him, how he is their only reason for living. And they just really pour on the words of affirmation and praise because they truly believe that Jesus Christ saved them. Now, I'm not going to get into whether or not that belief in theology is right or wrong, the truth is none of us will really know what's right or wrong until we take those final steps and cross over, right? So that's a discussion for a, another time, if at all. But that's how Christians work. That's how um, they operate within a church. And so when you start to look at those ideas, it becomes very clear what prayer versus worship is. So is it wrong to pray to your angels? No, it's not wrong to pray to your angels because praying to your angels is simply a way of directing energy and focus onto them as you're having a conversation with them. 
praying is simply talking to God, or in this case, talking to your angels. And how can you build a relationship with someone if you're not communicating with them? It just doesn't happen, right? For example, I have some neighbors that live, well, obviously they live right next door to me because they're my next door neighbors. <laughs> and even though I know their names and I know what they look like, what they look like, I don't have a relationship with them because we don't communicate. I have no idea what my neighbor's favorite color is, what their favorite food is. I have no idea if they've ever been married or divorced. I just don't know because I haven't taken the time to get to the know them. I haven't taken the time to communicate with them. So if you don't pray to your angels, how are you supposed to build that relationship with them? The funny thing is, is that to me, prayer and meditation are both two sides of the same coin. They both offer a means of pouring energy and focus into the lines of communication with spiritual beings on the other side. Now, of course, meditation has lots of different practices too. There are several different ways to meditate. But one of the most common is guided meditations. It's when you sit down, close your eyes, relax your body, and listen to some type of a meditation. Now, there are lots of angel meditations out there. And in an angel meditation, you are being directed by someone's voice. Basically, a guided meditation is when someone tells you a story and your mind follows along. And your mind will start to put the pieces together so that your subconscious mind can bring forward images and words that will help you to gain deeper insight or to help you solve a problem or simply communicate with um, your past loved ones, your angels, God, goddess. I mean, it's meditation is an amazing tool, but it can take time to develop the practice, right? It takes time to um, really build your visualization muscles and your intuitive muscles that allow you to go into a deep enough trance to pull information out of meditation. And meditation can take quite a while too, and it's also something that needs to be done when you are completely free of distractions. So it requires more practice, more discipline, and more free time. With prayer, you don't have those concepts. You don't have to have those rules in play. With prayer, you can be driving down the freeway with your eyes wide open and you can be talking to God or your angels. Heck, you can, you can even have the radio on and be talking to angels. Like You can't do that in meditation. That would be distracting because in meditation, you're trying to focus on your inner self, you know, on your inner world, and you're bringing your angels into your awareness, into your energy, so that they can communicate with you that way. But that's a form of prayer. Meditation is a form of prayer because it's still putting focus, energy, and communication into play. It's just a different way of doing it. So in answer to your question, no, it is not wrong to pray to your angels. It is not wrong to communicate with them. In fact, I think that praying to your angels is a wonderful way to create a trusting relationship with them. And the more you communicate with your angels, the more they will find ways to communicate back to you. And if you're wondering how you can do that, if you're wondering how you can hear your angels and how they may um, speak back to you, check out two of my videos. Um, one of them is called Nine Angel Signs and Symbols You Can't Miss, and the other one is called How to Get Immediate Feedback from Your Angels, or How to Get Immediate Responses from Your Angels. And so um, those two videos will give you an idea on how angels can communicate with you. So that way when you're talking to them, you know what to look for. Um, should they decide to send you signs and, and symbols to validate that they hear you and that they are working on you for with whatever request or challenge that you've presented to them, okay? So I hope that this cleared things up for you. It really kind of makes my heart sad that 
praying and to your angels and communicating with your angels is something that you have been discouraged from doing. Um, praying to angels and, and working with them and communicating with them is such a life altering experience and it really enhances your own personal joy and peace. And as you begin to work with your angels, you'll find that you have more patience, more tolerance, um, you are more willing to forgive people, you're more willing to try new things. There's this amazing feeling of safety and security that comes along with building a relationship with your loving angels. So absolutely get to know them, talk to them more. If you want to be more traditional in your prayer and close your eyes and bow your head and speak to them from from the heart, you can absolutely do that. If you want to be more casual with them and talk to them with your eyes open while you're driving to down the freeway or highway, whatever it's called, and you're saying, hey angels, what's up? It's Nicole here. Just want to say hi. Thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> you know, there's no right or wrong way to speak to your angels. They have been around for a millennium. They have heard everything, seen everything, and they're also telepathic, so they know what you're thinking before you do. <laughs> so you can't hide anything from your angels, and they don't want you to. They value a trusting, open, and honest relationship with them. So when you work with your angels, when you pray to them, when you communicate with them, honor that honesty. Honor them by being open and honest, because that's really what they appreciate when they work with you. That's what they want most, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was an excellent question. If any of you watching has or have any questions about your angels and how to work with them, or if you have questions about working and communicating with your spirit guides or anything like that, please feel free to put your comments or questions in the comment section down below. Also, if you would like an angel reading, um, I would be happy to help you with that. Just visit my website at guidingechoes.com to learn more and to get that scheduled and get you set up. I would love to help you communicate with your angels. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I would like to welcome you to the Guiding Echoes community. And I would also like to invite you to subscribe to this channel. Every Friday I offer weekly readings that will give you an idea of what the energies are for the following week. On Tuesdays I offer oracle and tarot card reviews and throughout the week I also offer different spiritual teachings and lessons similar to this one. So if that's something you're interested in and I know that it is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button button. Again, if you'd like to learn more about me, please visit my website at guidingechoes.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.